Hello guys, in this video we will clear the legacy code warning from our Redux. I'm sure you have been seeing it for a while now. It reads, you are using legacy implementation, please update your code. Use create wrapper and wrapper.create with Redux. It's simply telling us that our Redux setup code is not the most recent and we should update it to the newest syntax. We will start with the store file. For this file, we want to bring in the next Redux wrapper. If you recall, we already installed it at the start of the Redux setup. This package here. If you don't have it, you can go ahead and install it. I will move back to my Redux files where we will import create wrapper from next Redux wrapper. Next, we are going to refactor some code into the newest syntax to stop the warnings. const make store equals an invocation with create store, and inside that I want to pass in my roots reducer and also apply my middleware like we did before. You can just comment this old code for now. Finally, we want to export const wrapper as create wrapper invoked with make store as a parameter. Just save that. Make sure your store.js file is exactly like this. Now, move to your app.js file to make the final change. Inside the app.js, a lot of the code we wrote before is no longer necessary with the new syntax. First select everything and remove them. Next, we write const my app equals an invocation with component and page props as the structured parameters. Then you expand it to return something. Expand it with bracket, not with curly braces, and return the component with the page props passed into it. At the top here, what we want from Redux store becomes the wrapper, which is a const and no longer a default export. You can now take away the provider and the app import. And then at the bottom here, we no longer need make store. We also no longer need with Redux here. Let me take that away. With all this done, we should be able to test. I'm going to kill the app and make sure there is no error. Type in yarn run dev and hit enter. We get compiled successfully. We can try to refresh the page now. Now it's finally done loading. I'll try to sign in here. Now, I'll inspect my state in the header. In our header, we can see some information about our user in the Redux state. And if I refresh this page, it fetches my to-dos. You can also see that it fetched the to-dos from my local database. I can mark it completed, delete, and also add a to-do. I can switch between pages. I use an email as the name on the account. That's why an email is showing up as the user's name. But you can see the Redux works the same after we have updated the Redux syntax.